today is Monday the 21st and I'm sorry I haven't vlogged for day 19 or 20. I won't have a video for those days because I didn't do anything on those days. I've been in bed sick for two days, staring into space, taking cold medicine, drinking tea, watching Netflix. Um, not the most fun thing ever, but I might add on two days to my vlog miss to make up for those days. Uh, there's just really nothing I could do about it. I'm still not feeling very well, but I'm trying to push through it. I did get myself a little bit ready today. I have my sunglasses on because it's like kind of bright outside, not sunny, but like bright, and I think it's bothering my eyes. Uh, but I'm out doing some last minute Christmas shopping, like finishing up little stuff, running errands, and so I'm gonna do that and take you along with me. Um, let me see if I can update you on anything else. Last night I did go to my dad's choir concert. It was beautiful. They had the bell ringers, which were just, it just sounded amazing. So gorgeous. Um, the bright side, I guess, of today, if I can look for something positive, is that it is actually kind of warm. It's like 65 degrees. So I actually, um, I just came by and got myself an iced coffee. It's, it's that warm. So that's, something good uh, about this day. So I'm gonna go to Target, to Walmart, maybe Dollar Tree, uh, maybe Deals. I don't know, but I will definitely try to vlog my best today and push through this cold or sinus infection or something, whatever I have, and make the most of this day. I hope that you guys had a really good weekend, um, and I hope you're looking forward if you're celebrating Christmas this week. I hope you're going to have a good celebration. Uh, yeah, so let's run some errands and let's just try to make this day as good as possible. <laughs> I just went into Target and got a couple uh, Christmas presents for my nephew and then I saw this really neat product from Yes to Tomatoes that I've never seen before. It's the activated charcoal bar soap for clear skin. I guess it removes impurities from your skin like blackheads and I've been having a problem with blackheads around my nose and uh, cheek area and on my chin. This was under two bucks. It was like a dollar sixty-eight. So it's a really good size. Let me see. You get seven ounces. So I'm going to give this a try and definitely I'll let you know how it works because I've seen other charcoal uh, face washes and stuff that are much more expensive. So yeah, thought I would share that with you. Okay, so I am back from all of my shopping, running errands. I went to Dollar Tree, Target, Walgreens, Walmart. I went to a lot of places, I got everything done. And the last place I went, Walgreens, I wanted to show you that I found Wet n Wild's new gel polish line. It's called the One Step Wonder Gel. And right now I saw that they have the $1 off coupons. And I did ask the person working at the cosmetics counter if I could take a few extra and she said, sure. So this is what it looks like. So they're $4.99 and with $1 off, $3.99. I just got a classic red color and it's called Crime of Passion because to try out the line I thought red would be a good uh, color to see how well it lasts. It says it's supposed to last for two weeks. You don't have to use a UV lamp. So I'm excited to try this. They also had a ton of new Wet n Wild products. So I'll go ahead and insert the photos and footage I have of their new products. If you have a Walgreens near you, definitely go check out to see if they have any of the new products there. I didn't see the new brushes, but I did see almost everything else that's supposed to be new for 2016. So that's exciting. I think I'm gonna eat some dinner now and maybe take a shower. I also went by PetSmart and got Luna some new chew toys because she uh, finished her other one. So I got her this wooden carrot and it says it's a toss toy but it's made out of hay, like woven hay so they can chew on it. And then I also got this fur perch which is made out of all natural fur tree. And house, according to House Rabbit Society, rabbits can chew on uh, pieces of fir tree. So I'm going, and it has like this little attachment here. You can attach it to the cage. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. I don't know if you can see her, but she's in her litter box. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give these to her or give this one to her first and see how she likes it. What do you think, Luna? 
It's like a limbo stick. For dinner, I'm having a bowl of tortellini soup. Uh, this is just great for when you have a cold. I had this for lunch as well, but it just tastes so good and it's so soothing considering how I'm feeling right now. It's also extremely delicious. So yeah, I'm gonna have this and a big glass of water. And we have Mr. Hunter down here taking a nap. I think after this, I'm gonna take a nice hot shower. I just took a shower and I used the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Activated Charcoal Bar Soap. So far, I really like it. I think it has a nice fresh scent. It uh, The scent is not overpowering at all. My nose is kind of funky right now, but I definitely could you know, pick up a fresh, clean scent. I felt it went on my skin very smoothly. It uh, left my skin feeling very fresh and clean. It felt my it left my skin feeling just a tiny bit tight, but not as tight as some other bar soaps tend to leave my skin. Um, one thing about this soap is that it doesn't really lather up, or you know, from my first impression, it didn't create like a very rich lather, which is okay because it does create a subtle lather. Um, but like I said, it goes on your skin very smoothly. So I really enjoyed the whole in shower experience. And afterwards, I looked in the mirror and my blackheads on my nose are pretty much gone. So, you know, I'll use this a couple more times before I can say whether or not I really recommend it. You know, it's $1.68, so you might give it a try. Got it at Target. Uh, yeah, those are my first impressions so far, and I'll definitely keep you updated. For an after-dinner treat, I'm having some of this smooth and tempting toffee and sea salt milk chocolate. I think my mom got this at Walgreens. I think that's where the delish, the Good and Delish brand comes from. It is really delicious. And I looked on the back, and there don't appear to be to be any really artificial uh, flavors or anything. So you might check this out at your local Walgreens if you are into toffee and sea salt and chocolate, because it is good. I'm ending my night, as I so often do, with some tea. This is a new one I haven't tried before. It was just in my parents' cabinet. It's a blueberry herbal tea by Bert and Tang. And yeah, the water is definitely looking kind of a blueberry color. So I'm going to drink this and then work on some Christmas presents and probably watch some YouTube or Netflix. I'm going to try to go ahead and edit and upload this video for you so I can have it up tonight or by early tomorrow morning. I do hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you again very soon. Good night. Thank you.